We called it our year of family therapy. To paraphrase a line from a song, bring in the shrinks. We should have asked for the family discount. We needed it. Thelma Detweiler, my husband's mother, needed help getting over the fact that she'd lost two babies 40 years ago. The birth of my son brought up those ugly memories and made her turn on me. And then there was Sheila, the mother of my late husband, George Lowenstein, and new bride of police chief Robbie Holmes. Sheila was seeing a counselor and doing her best to keep attending Alcoholics Anonymous meetings so she could stay sober. In the midst of all that, we had a family counseling session because of the multiple times we've been shot at. The most recent time we'd ran for cover was during my wedding. That's when my older kids and I ducked into a shed and hid under a donkey. I also decided to see a therapist by myself because, as it happens, I've been targeted by creeps more than anyone in my immediate family. The irony is that my husband is a homicide detective. You'd think he'd be in someone's crosshairs, but instead, it's been me, and I'm a mom who runs a retail craft store. Weird, huh? Go figure. Here's a rough transcription of my session with the shrink. So, Kiki, I'm wondering about something you wrote on your intake form. I think there might have been some confusion. Could you tell me exactly how many times you've been shot at? Seven or eight? Those are recovered bullets only. That's not counting the times people have tried to beat me up. Beat you up? Yes. Could you be more explicit? Are we talking about domestic violence? No, oh, gosh, no. Not toward me. Neither husband ever laid a finger on me. See, I've been married twice. Someone murdered my first husband, George Lowenstein. Then George's business associate kidnapped me and jammed a gun in my ribs. There's also the time a customer's husband tried to beat me up. Oh, and one customer tried to strangle me with her purse strap. Plus there was that man, the guy who tried to choke me because I found his wife's severed leg. Severed leg. I severed, as in amputated? Right. I found it in our dumpster, behind the store. Oh, and I forgot about the sniper. Sniper. Of course he wasn't shooting at me, but I didn't know that at the time. I was in a crowd when he opened up. We all had to run. We took shelter in my mother-in-law's car. That must have been exhilarating. It was. I'm not sure you can count the white supremacist group that threatened me. Threatening to murder you isn't the same as actually attempting to do it, is it? I don't think it is. Other people might, but not me. How did you get involved in a white supremacist group? I wasn't involved, not really. I pretended to be a journalist and infiltrated one of their meetings to see what they were planning, 